What is up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the first episode in our coverage of Fallout 4. Very, very excited about this series. Obviously, this is one of those things that I've waited for for a very long time. I've been a fan of the series since the first game came out and the first time I read the one paragraph blurb that they had about it in Game Informer where they gave it like a 9 out of 10. And ever since then, I've been hooked to the world, the entire series, and so this is a really big deal to me. I always wanted to cover Skyrim and some of the other Bethesda stuff. Never got around to it. The channel was not big enough at that point for me to get the opportunity to do so. And so I'm very, very pleased that we get to cover this one here today. I know there's going to be at least like an hour of random stuff we're going to be running around doing before we even remotely get to play the game. And so I figure we'll get started with that right now, shall we? Uh, yes, I would like to play a new game. Thank you. My great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. War never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. It's just so hard to look away. I'm just so pretty. So, we have face one. Oh, look at that. We can push a button and things change around. Hmm, which face would I like to have? I always start with a preset on this kind of stuff, and so I'll kind of just, like, pan and scan through. Oh, it's going to let me do that, too. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to pan and scan through, basically. If it ends up taking me a long time to make my character, I'll essentially, like, stall the entire process, and we'll just come back with, like, a new sexy face guy who's all ready to go. I'm actually digging that dude right there. That'll look pretty good. I don't know. I've got a mohawk, and so I feel... Well, it's not like a full mohawk, though. It doesn't go all the way down the back. He's got like a little, I don't know, rooster's comb thing going on. Not sure if I'm down with that. What does the F button do? Oh, I can like sculpt his face? I don't know how I feel about that. This seems like it's going to be really, really pot... Oh, wow. Okay, so this is complicated. This is going to take me a bit. All right, so we're all done with that. That actually took way longer than I expected. It took me like nine minutes just to go through stuff, but I'll give you kind of a rundown of how it works. So you choose your face with A and D, easy enough, 
and then you're going to press F and you mouse over the thing that you want to change. And then for every single one, it'll give you the option to use like a preset or just to do it by yourself. This is what I came up with after a while. I've manipulated a little bit of everything, got the scar on the right cheek. Obviously, I have a scar on my right cheek, and so I always try and put it on my character's right cheek as well. And then aside from that, I'm pretty pleased with the way things are going so far. The system is actually far more expansive than I expected it to be. And so essentially, you can do just about everything you can do in Skyrim as well. And so anyways, as far as extras go, there's all kinds of markings, blemishes, damage to your face, all those kinds of things. There's a lot of stuff in here, though. And my big fear is that if I stop and just kind of mouse through everything, this will turn into a tutorial to build a, ca like a character along with his facial expressions rather than actually playing the game. And I don't want to risk that because I really, really, really want to play right now so let's do this thing yep that's me sounds good oh my oh it runs like butter too and this is on ultra so this will be pretty cool let's take a look around the hallway real quick and kind of see what we've got going on a little bit of an obnoxious motion bloom right i'm sorry the i don't know motion blur not a fan of motion blur never have been never will be sean so that's our baby right there. Apparently, I have a baby. I'm learning all new things about myself right now. Surprise! You have a baby. Hooray. Oh. I was assuming we were going to use the baby as, like, our own personal Monopoly piece, but sure. Whatever. That's That counts as playing with the baby. What does a baby need a baseball mitt for? What, are you incredibly talented right now? Stop making the rest of us look bad, baby. What are you doing right now? You're already, like, pro baseball level when the rest of us are just getting our lives started? It's not fair. It's not right, baby. Don't leave me like that. That seems like an odd... Morning, sir. Your coffee. Hey, what's going on? Okay. Today's newspaper just delivered. His name is Codsworth? I don't think that's what I would name my robot. Thanks, Codsworth. Of course, sir. Apparently our character talks now. Who even knew? The Fallout character usually is silent aside from the stuff you click and choose. Cool, at least we're voiced now. So we've got Nuka-Cola. Nuka-Cola. Ice cold. Hell yeah, and it comes in those badass bottles too. Those are really, really cool bottles. I wish that, you know, the things that our Cokes came in looked like that. It would make me a little bit more pleased. Oh, baby's all upset again. Wow, look at you. How'd a girl like me ever get so lucky, huh? <laughs> You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Yeah. What could go wrong with a baby with a table saw? I'm sorry, with a robot with a table saw in its arm handling your baby. Clearly nothing is going to be mishandled there. Let's see, we've got the Grognak comic. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. I think Grognak would be the kind of guy that would come with a super awesome theme song that would have lots of guitar chugging, just jug, 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 Grognak! Huh. Apparently I can run hollow tapes if I wanted to. This guy's droning along on the tele- You know something's about to go wrong. Life is too good right now. It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Yeah, for sure. You know, you're only like four feet away, but I'll get it. That's all good. Good morning! vault calling. Vault Tech? Vault Tech? Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, Vault Tech is the foremost builder of state of the art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid, and coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning... Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. 
Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Oh, cool. And so now is when we're going to apply our special points. And so they've changed things around a little bit. Oh, look at that. The little vault tech guy is animated now. I don't think he's ever been animated before. He's always been semi-adorable and had the ability to evoke humor through violence and all other means. But still, at the same time, he's now animated. So that's pretty sweet. Oh, look at that. He's imagining hands, noses, eyes, ears, and tongues. Exactly what I imagine in my sleep. Well, I usually make intelligence-based characters because I find it to be more useful. This time around, I don't know exactly how the whole thing's going to work. From what I've investigated, it seems like they've changed the game over from a skill-based system into a perk-based system. Which means that the points that you put into each of these, supposedly, this is all blind for me, so I have no idea. However, the points that you put into these then pre-qualify you for the perks that you will get in the future. So if you don't have enough intelligence, well, you can't get that science skill that you wanted. Or if you don't have enough agility, nope, you aren't going to be using that gun that you wanted or something like that. Not totally sure. I'll probably... So let's say that I balance everything out at 5. Then what happens? Let's make ourselves utterly unimpressive. I think they actually gave you way less points this time around too. As I think previously, you could actually put everything at 5. What is the maximum now? And so, yeah, they've actually, as far as I can tell, they've given you eight less points this time around, which is actually a pretty good constraint right there. Because you started with everything balanced out to five, and then with six points to allocate as you wanted before. So this might be a little bit interesting. However, I'm assuming that there's still going to be like an intense physical training type perk that'll allow you to, like, move these things around if you really, really want to. If it feels like I'm talking loudly or fast, I apologize, but it's like midnight right now, and I've been waiting all day for this. So I'm sort of just like, I'm in this weird haze of video game enthusiasm, but also the inability to properly, you know, enunciate what I want, so just bear with me. I'm sure it'll be perfectly fine. So, what's our maximum score here? Oh, you can still go to 10. Okay. Well, I was wondering if maybe they lowered the maximum threshold to like 8 or something, maybe, in order to even that out, so that the less points, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. I don't usually make strength-based characters, so I'm going to start with the things that typically I find to be useful. I'm going to go with some agility... We'll go in, let's say that we, can we put all these at three? Is that something we can do right there? Fantastic. If we can get everything to three, that puts us below threshold on most things. If there's no skills anymore, I think we'll have to take a look. I don't know, I might go back in just a minute. But anyways, if we don't get skill points anymore, what would be the point in putting in a ton of intelligence? I'd like to have a character who's smart. I'd also like to have a character who's fairly charismatic. And then on top of that, I think I would either go with perception or maybe a little bit of agility in there somewhere. And so that seems reasonably okay to me. So what do we do? Oh, my name. I was going to say, why can't I accept this? What should we call ourselves? Well, since he's smarter, I'm going to name him Cogsworth Collins. And you know, I was really looking forward to doing the Cornbread Collins voice this entire time. And now that he's voiced, I've been let down. I just want to be like, Cogsworth Collins got himself the book learning. All right. So for a name, I think I'm going to go with Pennington... Paisley. That sounds pretty good right there, and it involves Paisley in one way or another, which makes me tremendously happy. I think this looks good for my score. I mean, they don't give you that many points to work with, and so I figured this will get evened out later or something. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. This family is too ideal and it worries me. Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. Yeah, God forbid the baby be terrified by a chainsaw and a flamethrower mounted robot. <laughs> Oh, God. Let's go up. He came in a box that size? That box is really, really little. That's amazing. Like, how did you make that work? You fit that entire robot inside of there? Man, Ikea is stepping up its game right now. All right, baby. Let's hang out. Hey, buddy. Yep. How's it going? How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. 
but who's the most important man in your life? I think this is an important point that we haven't touched on yet. You said two of the most. That's not very specific. Am I the most important? Uh -huh. I hope so anyways. Spin! Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. And do what exactly? Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Oh, the bombs has fallen. Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're, uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we no. do have... We do have coming in. That's, um... Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My god. Oh my god. We... We need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. <laughs> if you are not registered, kiss your ass goodbye. You should have filled out your IRS reports. <laughs> oh, man. I'd be gloating so hard about doing my taxes right now. I'd be like, I'm about to live. You're about to burn up like bad bacon. Mm -mm -mm. Off to the vault. I should really be taking this more seriously. But honestly, it's hard not to be cheery in a world which is so beautiful and colorful. Where's my wife? Oh, there she is right there. You don't get I'm in. I'm going in. You can't shoot. Oh, 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 not okay, in the ball okay. program. I'm reporting this. Yeah, we're gonna die. If you're in, we need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, the are adult female. The program. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, ma'am. May God help us all. They have to. This is the moment at which you're like, na 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 na. You're gonna die in nuclear fire, and I am not. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen to them? We're going inside the vault, but I am enjoying how colorful the game is. It, the other games felt really washed out. Look at all the colors right now. There's like greens and like reds. It's not just all brown and gray. Almost there. We're going to be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my God. Oh, lower the vault! Low, lower the floor! Hold on. Oh no! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, god. Oh, god. <sighs> we did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, no. We don't Don't be. get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. Vault Tech is here for you. Just this way, please. All new this way. residents, please proceed in an orderly fashion. Nope. I can't wait to get my jumpsuit that shows off my muscles. It's gonna be great. But hoo -ha, hoo -ha. Johnny Bravo style everywhere that I go. Just step over to the table. Welcome. Pick up a suit right over there. Right over there. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. It's down the hallway right there. This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. You guys are awfully cordial for the atrocity that just happened. I was just making jokes about the colors and whatnot and other people burning up like bad bacon, but... How long do you think we'll be down here? 
Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical yeah, items. Checking have to everyone get off the list as they come in. As well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. How did you guys know what was going to happen? And how did you get here so quickly? Like, I was one of the last ones in, and we saw the bomb go off, like, after watching TV. These people were clearly here, like, an hour ago. A decontamination pod. Yeah, I don't trust this either. Something bad's going to happen. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the bomb. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. <sighs> Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one. Oh, how did I know? It looked like a cryo. I knew it. Ah, uh, we just got rooked. That sucks. Nothing like a little dose of matrimonial homicide to really sort of somber out the moment. <laughs> oh, God. I deal with stress through laughter, everybody. Don't judge me. Cryopod, you have the worst timing ever. However, I think that it's time for us to break off the first episode. Sorry to do that to you, but this will be an all-day Fallout day, so I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. This is Fallout 4. My name is Splattercat, and I will see you all next time. Hi-do, everybody.